Be, be good. Be good. Hey, Ash, that Squirtle is following us. Squirtle! Squirtle! Would you like to come along with us, Squirtle? Squirtle! Team Squirtle. Squirtle. Guess I've got a new Pokemon. Pikachu. <laughs> caught? What do you mean caught? Oh, what's the difference? It's on our side now. What's going on, Bruce? Happy Poke Positivity Month. That's right. It's September. It's my first video of September, and it is the best month of the entire year. Why? Because it's Poke Positivity Month. Now, thanks to the help of uh, a possum bud, Rock Sandy, and uh, a select handful of you others, the uh, the word is spreading. Hashtag Polka Positivity, guys. This is in your best interest to help spread Polka Positivity. Why? Because Polka Positivity relates to giveaways for you. That's right, guys. So here's the thing: we are going to get to an incredibly uh, interesting comparison between Stellar Crown, Pokemon TCG's newest set due to release in. A week and a half, two weeks, I don't know, September 13th, I think it is, uh, versus Obsidian Flames. We're going to look at Obsidian Flames and Stellar Crown, and, and I'm going to tell you why it's essentially uh, Stellar Crown is Obsidian Flames 2.0. But don't worry, there's a, a couple, uh, there's a couple like unique details to Stellar Crown that, that definitely makes it a little more exciting than Obsidian Flames. And truth be told, I just made a video about Obsidian Flames and how it's way better than Shrouded Fable. I'll keep it positive, but Shrouded Fable freaking sucks. I... Shroud of Fable is just not for me, okay? Keep it positive. Okay, guys, but look, before we get into that, every single video that I release this Polka Positivity Month, September, there will be a giveaway. Okay, and guess what? The, the I don't even know how good these giveaways are going to get, okay? I'm going to tell you a quick, very positive story about a guy named Dwayne who owns an online store called My Retro Universe, okay? He gave me this very positive idea, and I was like, you know what? I want more. I want more stuff to give away to you guys, my viewers. So I called Brian, and I called Rusty. Who's Brian? Pokey and E. Who's Rusty? TCA Gaming. These guys, within, I can't even tell you how immediately they were like, yup, here's your tracking number. I sent you some shit, okay? So, between Retro Universe, between Pokey and E, and TCA Gaming, and that's just the beginning. All month long, I am definitely doing giveaways every single video, and I don't even know what some of these giveaways are going to be, okay? Freaking TCA Gaming, what is he going to send us? I don't know, but I'm going to give it to you guys, all right? So hashtag PokePositivity. This giveaway for today's video right here, we are giving away this binder collection. Woo! 151. I like master setting. Do you want a master set 151? Well, here's a binder and you can master set it right here. You already got one? Whatever. I don't want to do what you want with it. The point is, this is today's giveaway and I'm going to tell you right now how to do it, okay? So, my retro universe, courtesy of him, I'm going to let him tell you, okay? Because I was like, yo, retro, Dwayne, Dwayne, retro. I don't, I don't want to tell him. You tell him. They need to see who they're buying from, okay? So this is one of you guys, this is a viewer who reached out to me and he wants to give you a bunch of free stuff starting with this. Dwayne, take it away. What's up everybody? So I teamed up with Mimic Brew to do this giveaway. We wanted to do something nice for the community. Go to MyRetroUniverse.com, hit that giveaway button that you just saw. All you gotta do on this first line here is input the email that we can reach you at. Don't just put some garbage email there. Put your first name in there. We don't need your full government. Hit accept the TOS and hit enter now. As you'll see, you're in. That's all you need. If you want additional entries, you can visit my YouTube channel up here. Give me a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Go to Mimic Bruce TikTok, do the same thing. Or you can tell us what set you're most excited about here on this polls and surveys that we have. That's it. No purchase necessary. Thanks, guys. So there you go, guys. You go to MyRetroUniverse.com. I'll leave it linked in the uh, description of this video. And on IG, Dwayne is my underscore retro underscore universe. And on YouTube, he is RetroUniverse94. Now, guys, one last thing Dwayne, my retro universe is extending to you, is one, the cheapest pre-order of S Surging Sparks. Got it. Surging Sparks pre-orders for $109.99. However, 
If you use code MIMIC at checkout, you will get free shipping, making My Retro Universe the cheapest Surging Sparks pre-orders available now, okay? And between me and you, Stellar Crown, meh. Surging Sparks, <laughs> All right. So again, use discount code MIMIC at checkout for your Surging Sparks pre-order at literally one o nine ninety nine free shipping surging sparks booster box retro universe all right there we go there it is and again guys tca gaming pokey any that stuff's on the way and it's all going to you guys hashtag pokey positivity now let's get into the actual video today stellar crown versus obsidian flames so for this video, we are going to be on justinbasil.com, his visual set list and his complete set list. That is Justin, J-U-S-T-I-N, Basil, B-A-Z, B, that's a lie, B-A-S-I-L, dot com. Justin Basil, you probably have already been on this site before. All right, so what we are looking at here is Stellar Crown Hyper Rares. We're going to start at the top and we're going to work our way down and I'm going to show you why this set is Obsidian Flames 2.0. All right, so what do we see here? So for gold cards, for the hyper rares, you see three. This is Stellar Crown. Let's hop over to Obsidian Lames. Oh, three. Three hyper rares. One Pokemon, one Stadium, one Energy. Stellar Crown, one Pokemon, one Stadium, one Tool. So wow, that's very similar. Okay, let's hop up to SIRs. All right, so we got Briar and Lacey for the trainers. And then we got four Pokemon up here. Okay, now we'll go over here. What do we got? Four Pokemon, two trainers. So, guys, so far from the hyper rare slots, three SIR slots, six. Yeah. And then, guys, 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 guys. Here we go. Full art supporters. Let's go up to. Oh my gosh, there's four full art supporters in each set, too. So, you're telling me that Stellar Crown has. Three hyper rares, six SIRs, and four full art trainer supporters. And Obsidian Flames has three hyper rares, six SIRs, and four full art supporters. Hmm, interesting. Shall we continue? Okay, let's do it. Let's continue. Now, again, I'm. we'll get to why this matters and, and how this factors into things in a minute. Let's go to full art Pokemon. I see two, four, six, seven for Stellar Crown. Obsidian Flames, I see two, four, six, eight. Seven is almost eight. Those are literally almost the same number, guys. Now let's go to Illustration Rares. Here are beautiful Stellar Crown Illustration Rares. How many do we have? We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, oops, thirteen, right at the bottom. Thirteen? Guess how many Obsidian Flames has? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You, if you guessed 13, you were wrong. But 12 is almost 13. So, basically, guys, shall we continue? I don't want to continue. I want to talk about why I just looked at all this. So, basically, let's, let's go back to me here. So, I've had this theory ever since I started this channel. And I started uh, talking. I, I started doing uh, complete uh, buyer's guides. And then why this set is going to suck. And why this set is going to be good type videos whatever and something i have preached over and over and over again is set size hits per rarity tier if you follow this channel you've heard it a million times okay so for stellar crown to have 13 irs obsidian as 12 sir 6 obsidian 6 hyper rares 3 uh obsidian 3 even the full art supporters are the same amount basically i had this theory that the Pokemon company, when it comes to regular sets, they have three blueprints. They have large, medium, and small. So, example of some larges, that'd be a Paldea Evolve, Paradox Rift. Example of some mediums, it'd be like Scarlet and Violet Base Set, or Temporal Forces, or maybe even Twilight Masquerade. And then now, we have our second small set. And no, we're not counting specialty sets, like Shrouded Fable, which is pathetically tiny, but when it comes to regular sets we have obsidian flames and now we have stellar crown as our first two exceptionally small main pokemon tcg scarlet and violet sets so why does this matter why is it a big deal so basically 
Hits per rarity tier determines odds when all odds are equal per rarity tier. Magikarp is just as easy to pull as Sandagast or Grafii or anything else from Paldea, but 36 makes all of them individually hard to pull, which makes the more desirable card exceptionally potentially valuable. Okay, so that's how we got Magikarp at 118, 120, all the way up to 150. Now, what I will say, 13 IRs, that is really bad. That is not looking good for Stellar Crown long term. And yes, Stellar Crown does have the tweaked SIR pull rates. Now, for those of you who don't know, starting with Paradox Rift, there was an adjustment. And then with Temporal Forces, there was a massive, what I believe to be permanent for the rest of the era, SIR adjustment. And that adjustment was nerfing SIRs massively. So Temporal Forces, SIRs specifically, no other hit. Massively nerfed. Twilight Masquerade, the exact same nerf. Now I believe this exact same nerf is in place for Stellar Crown. That does not affect the IRs, the full arts, anything else, okay? So, here's another positive to Stellar Crown versus Obsidian Flames. There's three A specs, and guess what, guys? The A spec is in the first reverse hollow slot. The illustration rare is in the second, or SIR, reverse hollow slot, which means your full art, or EX, or ultra rare, is in the last spot. So, I know for a fact you can get double bangers, okay? I've seen double bangers with my own eyes for Stellar Crown. What I don't know for certain, because I haven't seen it yet, but seems very logical, is that you can actually get a triple banger pack with Stellar Crown. Very cool. However, with such a small set size and triple bangers, like this set is going to be very easy to master set, and this set probably is not going to have long-term value across the board like you would see in Paradox Rift or Palais Evolved. Now, couple nice little things okay about stellar crown that might put it ahead of obsidian flames one like i said triple banger three a specs that's cool squirtle squirtle squad so squirtle and bulbasaur even though there's only 13 irs never underestimate the power of kanto okay kanto can't be denied and one way or another whether it be squirtle or Bulbasaur, you already know one of those two is eventually going to be a just straight up $50 IR, regardless of the fact that there's only 13 in the set. The power of Kanto prevails, okay? Like, for example, Scarlet and Violet 151 is a medium to smaller set, but the power of Kanto is so strong that it doesn't matter, and all the cards hold value. You cannot apply that logic to regular sets all the time, because at the end of the day, Hits per rarity tier, number of hits per rarity tier, set size absolutely does, in general, matter massively. So the fact that we have three hyper rares means all three Stellar Crown hyper rares are going to be exceptionally easy to pull. Six SIRs. Okay, nerf pull rates, but only six. They are still going to be moderately easy. Not easy to pull, but I'm just saying there's only six of them, okay? So it's not going to be too hard to master the set. And then again, IRs, 13, those are still 1 in 12 per usual, per always, per the entire era. So those are going to be easy to master set. Now, big caveat, and look, I'm not a TCG player, I just read a bunch of articles. Now, the TCG players themselves are probably going to be way more excited for Stellar Crown than definitely Obsidian Flames, and to be honest, even Shrouded Fable. Shrouded Fable was coined, uh, oh, this is for the TCG players, which might have been an excuse as to why it sucks so much ass. But to be honest, it sounds like Stellar Crown is really going to be for the TCG players. They're introducing a ton of new mechanics, certain things to where you can get really creative and build some crazy new decks with what is coming in Stellar Crown. And with that said, TCG, what the TCG needs is what spikes high in demand. So there's definitely likely scenarios in place where some Stellar Crown cards you're not even thinking of are going to end up being boosted by the TCG players once uh, the TCG players start figuring out how to build a new new decks from these, these cards, okay? So, one thing's for sure, three A specs and a bunch of new mechanics, that's good for Stellar Crown. 
One other thing is absolutely for sure is that set size is doing Stellar Crown from the collector side zero favors whatsoever, okay? In all honesty, Surging Sparks and the next sets after Surging Sparks I think are absolutely going to be way, way better than Stellar Crown. I think Stellar Crown, Shrouded Fable are going to be forgotten about rather quickly. Just being honest, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be polka positive, but I'm polka positive for the future, the future sets, starting with Surging Sparks. I, of all people, think set size is a huge deterrence to value from the collector standpoint, okay? So nerf rates or not, the set is simply put too small to be super, but yes, the Bulbasaur, or yes, Squirtle. One of those two is going to get pumped to oblivion and end up around EV from Twilight Masquerade, around that 45-50. You just know it. That's like the easiest call ever. All right. I want to wrap it up. And again, guys, I just want to remind you to stay poke positive and to enjoy all September long and do your best to spread the word of hashtag po pokey positivity and let other creators in this niche know uh, that it is pokey positive September. That's all I got, guys. And again, if you want to win this binder collection, follow the words of my man Dwayne at My Retro Universe, and you could you can you could get like four entries with all the things he was saying. So do that, and then the next video it might be Dwayne's giveaway, it might be Pokey Ne, it might be TCA Gaming. I don't know, it might be somebody else. Got a lot of positivity coming my way to give back to you guys. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Deuces.